I am on my way to get my mask fit check. <laughs> Day one of OD3. As one of the optometry year level representatives, my role involved organizing equipment purchases. In this case, one of the suppliers accidentally sent us the wrong order, so here we are trying to figure it out. Today, I see my first patient. Look at that gorgeous sun. All right, so in about 45 minutes, I'm gonna be seeing my very first patient as a student optometrist. Now this is at the Melbourne Eye Care Clinic, where I will be supervised by a CTI, which is a clinical teaching instructor. In fact, I will be supervising two OD students. But this will be my first time actually applying the skills and knowledge that we've learned so far over the past 200 years of the degree and applying it to a real life patient. Now, patients that we get are patients that we get. So booked into the clinic, they know that they're being seen by students. So appointment times are a bit longer, I think there'll probably be a bit more leniency, but we get what we get. So they might be booked in for just a routine check, they might be booked in um, because they want to get contact lenses or a contact lens aftercare. Uh, they also might be booked in because it's an emergency. Yeah. They've walked in because they've got a painful red eye or something or other. So we sort of get what we get. Now we have been in the eye clinic a few times, mainly for equipment sessions where they've showed us around, showed us all the equipment, showed us how to use it so that we're a bit more familiar with the environment before sort of being let loose inside it. Now, I am a little bit nervous. I brought lunch today, did not feel really like eating it, uh, which will probably be a mistake because it is a couple of hours, so by the end of those hours I'll probably be very hungry. But it is what it is. Uh, maybe I'll try and munch something down before going through, but we'll see. In fact, to prepare, I even wrote up some summary notes and some things just in case I forget anything because I feel like a lot of knowledge will go right out of my head as soon as I walk in and see that patient or rather call them through, I guess. I've also got these cheat sheet cards on my lanyard in case I pull a mental blank for certain things like recording test results or uh, taking a history. I'm stationed in room G12 for today and here you can see the consulting room with all the equipment, the chair, the phoropter and the slit lamp. But first I'm going to make sure that all the lenses are actually in order because it's the worst when you go to pull out a lens without checking and it's uh, accidentally the wrong power and it just messes up your workflow a bit. So I've taken out all of my equipment, I'm making sure everything is in working order and all the batteries are charged and I'm uh, almost ready to see my first patient. I'm going to make sure that the phoropter is all zeroed out so that when we put it in front of the patient's eyes they don't get a nasty surprise and make sure the slit lamp is working, everything's focused and uh, everything is set onto its default settings. And here the nerves really are starting to kick in, but yeah, it should be fine. The next thing I do is I have a look at the patient's schedule to see who's booked in, what the appointment is for, see if they've been here before, look at any consultation records, and sort of get a general idea of what us as students are going to expect, because it's me and five other students here today. So we had a few routine exams, one contact lens fit. We had a review for a patient in ortho K, which is a specialty rigid contact lens used to try and slow the progression of nearsightedness. And there was also an appointment booked by someone who noticed they had reduced vision in one eye and have pre-existing glaucoma. And they're also a relative of a staff member of the department. And lo and behold, that was my very first patient. So it really was a baptism by fire. 